Hey my Buddha lovers and Buddha dolls, welcome back to the channel and if you're new please consider subscribing if you enjoy content like this. It's free and it's easy and plus we'll have fun together. Buddha Love TV is a variety channel. Not only do we do paranormal psychic videos, we also do music covers, original music, makeup tutorials, contact lens reviews, fragrance videos, drama vids from time to time, and more. So hopefully you won't get bored and neither will we. So for those that are new here, I'm a born psychic medium. I'm not a career psychic, but now I do private readings from time to time. With that being said, I am a professional actor, singer, and performer. I do have to say that all psychics are different and there is no specific way how we get our information. Information for me can come in spurts or waves through visions, apparitions, really deep intuition, or disembodied voices. I'm also clear audient. Also, information comes to me like a movie and sometimes like snapshots, but most of the time it's through trans channeling. Basically, I'm a sleeping psychic. <laughs> Let's dive in deep now into the psychic realm. I saw Naya in another out of body experience. I had a very interesting vision. I had a sketch done of what I saw. She looked absolutely stunning as she did in life. However, this time I was taken to the bottom of Lake Piru. I knew it was that lake immediately. I went through a stone tunnel. As I'm going down, I saw her rise up and swim past me. As she's swimming, this all happened by the way, like in slow motion. I see her in a beautiful red bikini and she was leading with her left arm. She was holding a lit torch. The fire represents light. She was lighting my way. On her chest, she had some type of black runes etched or tattooed onto her skin. I try to understand them, but I've never seen anything like it before. They were some sort of hieroglyphics. I actually heard the term angel hieroglyphics. Could be an angelic alphabet that I've never, I mean, I've never seen that before, but that's what I saw. Her hair was tied back into a beautiful ponytail. Her aura was very mystical and strong. She told me, that the tunnel I was in was the portal she used to go back and forth from this dimension and the next. She's with her son, but she said that it was now her calling to be a light in the lake. She wants to make sure that she can guide souls that have drowned in the lake and prevent other people from drowning in that lake. She said there's a darkness to this lake and that she's a beacon of light in that darkness. Think of it as charity. What she's doing now as a sole purpose. She was assigned on the other side to do this, to protect other souls and be a beacon inside Lake Piru. It's interesting because the name of the lake translates to Devil Lake. So it makes sense that Naya would answer her calling. She says it's part of her soul's journey and growth. It was also a way for her to spend more time on this dimension, the third dimension to be able to be with her son and at the same time learn and grow as a soul. Her soul has not yet elevated and she's working out some karma. This is a really good thing for her because she's learning, protecting others, and most importantly, she's also there with her baby. Now, during a meditation session, I asked her if her sister was sexually involved with her ex-husband and she said yes. I heard that it happened out of grief, but there was some weirdness going on, I mean, if you know what I mean, before she passed between the sister and the ex-husband. That's what I got. I also asked her how she felt about the whole situation, and I heard the word betrayed, followed by the word forgiveness. So she felt betrayed, but she forgives them because her soul needs to forgive for her to continue on her soul's path journey. Her soul isn't highly elevated yet, but it will be. That's why she can feel betrayal because she's still working out her karmic work in the lower dimensions. I get that it was her choice to do it this way. She says that she's made her presence known to the sister and to the family. I physically felt a strong punch to my stomach when I was channeling her. Honestly, I don't know what this means. It could be something she felt before she died, maybe something to do with the drowning, or it might be the feeling she had when she felt betrayed Kind of like, this is what I felt. It hit her like a punch in the stomach. Like I felt like she was saying, it hit me like a punch in the stomach. Or it could mean that her sister might get pregnant. If she ever does decide to get pregnant, I feel like it could be a boy. I don't know why I'm getting the, a boy energy, but that's what I feel. One thing's for sure. She wants her sister, family, and ex-husband to all be there for her baby. A message for the sister. 
Now, they're Puerto Rican. She's Puerto Rican. Like me. So she should know what this means. Lo que empieza mal, termina mal. That means what begins wrong, ends wrong. I know if I did that to my sister, she would haunt me to the end of days. Like an exorcist type of haunting. Us Boricuas don't play that It's like Naya's sister is stepping into Naya's recent life. It's like a takeover of some sort. Willing or unwillingly, she's doing it. And it's not right. I'm no one to judge anyone because we all have to make our choices and live with them. But for every action, there's a reaction. Checks and balances. I'm just saying. It just doesn't spiritually feel right. Also, to her fans, please keep praying and chanting for the well-being of her child and for the elevation of her spirit. So, I hope you guys like this video. Please share, comment, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. I'll be uploading Halloween makeup tutorials and more psychic videos soon. So stay tuned for that and much more here on Buddha Love TV. Love you guys. You guys are all amazing, each and every one of you. See you in my next video. Bye.